So that was number seven. So we have uh, number seven was just a repeat of um, of question four, I believe. So seven, that was a repeat. So totally fine. Let's look at question eight. Uh, it says draw the structure of the major organic compounds um, from below. So it says here, I have a benzene group here. And then I have uh, some type of uh, ketone here. It says excess Br and excess OH minus. So I have base basically, excess Br2, excess OH minus. And this student wrote, um, this student wrote uh, the O minus here and not being able to complete the question. Okay, that's fine here. Let me erase this. So basically what's happen what's gonna happen here is that this is number eight here, right? Again, basically in order for you to approach this question, how you, what do you do is you would draw, draw the charges first, right? So again, I have a partial negative on this oxygen here, I have a partial positive on uh, this carbon here, right? Partial positive on this carbon here. So what's gonna happen is, and then I have excess OH minus, right? OH minus is makes here is a great nucleophile. It's gonna come and attack this carbonyl group here. So basically, again, that's the first step here, right? So let me just show you what I mean by that. So again, this negative charge here is attracted to this positive charge. It's gonna come and bump this up. So you're gonna have a benzene. Again, it's not gonna affect my benzene group, but it's gonna affect uh, this here is from it's OH. This here is now O, OH here, and this here is my kind of guy here and um, let's see so they wrote that it actually attacks the hydrogen here so and they're actually going to create a negative charge here and then it's going to substitute on the bro oh that's actually correct sorry so this uh, so sorry the the reaction the mechanism here is actually correct and why why is correct here it's because i have the benzene group so i i, to I totally ignored this benzene group if this was a cyclohexane group it would definitely do this uh, mechanism here but it's not and it's actually stabilized here so this would actually do an elimination so sorry i totally whiffed that my fault here um it would do it would do an elimination first so this is going to be attracted to, uh, sorry, this negative charge. This negative charge is going to be attracted to this hydrogen here, and this is going to get uh, bumped up here. Or it's going to j basically just create a negative charge first. So this O here, and then I have H here. So this here will become simply a negative charge here. And then what it's going to do, it's going to then um, grab a BR from this BR, BR bond, right? So that's what this BR, BR bond here, this is going to come and grab one of these guys, kick bromine out. So we get uh, something like this. And this only happens uh, with a uh, with a benzyl group here. And then I get basically, and um, this is a uh, alpha alpha keto uh, bromination for this uh, the reaction. Firstly, so this here is uh, is my uh, uh, my reaction here. Again, bromine is added to the alpha carbon here, and then what's going to happen is again I'm going I can I can brominate this again much more times because I'm going to have X as Br X as uh, OH right here. So I can do this basically a uh, uh, reaction basically two more times to fully brominate this bond here, this carbon bond here. So it's Br bond Br. And then what it can do now is that if I do this again, this, I'm, I have excess BR, right? So this is excess BR. So I basically do this alpha uh, bromination, alpha keto bromination two more times to get this kind of compound here. And then what I get is, again, I have this OH minus now is going to attack this bond here. So this is what I did in the first step here. So the, the OH minus, so let me do let me do that. The OH minus is actually attracted to again this partial negative, this partial positive. It's going to be attracted to this guy here. It's going to bump this oxygen up and then create the uh, the thing I just erased here, right? So it would I would get something like this. I would get OH group here, 
and then get my carbon and then yeah wait carbon here this is bond br r and br here so it looks kind of weird again this here this here it has a negative charge here and then basically again cbr3 is a great leaving group now so it's going to come here and then basically kick the cbr3 out and we get basically um uh, i would get a carbonyl group now so this would be a double bond o bond and then bond oh here bond oh here and uh finally and then this here this entire thing gets basically kicked out right so this here would be c b r c h b r three this would be our uh chloroform here so this here would get my products you would actually get a carboxylic acid here or do you get let me see if you did you get oh you don't get acid worked up actually so this here would not i would not have a hydrogen here so this is simply the negative charge here um, if I were to again, if I were to extend the problem, and if it were to have again an acid workup, if I have H3O plus, this would simply just grab a hydrogen and become a carboxylic acid here. But again, I don't have it in this question, so this these two here would be my compounds. I'm bromo form, which is CHBr3, because it grabbed the hydrogen from the OH group, and basically the H here um, is is going to be grabbed on to with um, the bromo uh, the chlor uh, the bromo form here as well. So I would get something like like uh, the, I would get this compound here and then if i were to extend the problem and do acid workup i would get a carboxylic acid um, so this would be a benzoic acid here if i were to do acid workup so great solution and analysis here and this was question these are long questions this is question eight question eight uh